All right, part two. A man that knows a female is not going to stand up, he's going to use him. He's going to make her feel like she ain't shit. He's going to make her feel like she's the one doing wrong and all this type of shit. And nine times out of ten, he's going to be the one fucking up. Um, I just say, think, think about it. Ex God, what should you do? And follow your heart. Your heart ain't going to stare you wrong. If you want to be with this guy, try to make it work. Make him get a job. Make him fill out some applications. Make him do something. Instead of sitting at home playing mad. That's all good and all. I, I come home and play my Madden. But I go to work first. I handle my business. Whatever the fuck I do when I come home from work is supposed to be my business. I don't give a fuck if I come home and want to listen to whatever. If I want to watch Will Smith for eight hours and don't get no rest. That's my business. Because I didn't been at work all day. I didn't handle my business. I didn't do what I had to do. So a man and a woman supposed to be able to come home and do and relax. You shouldn't have to come home to fussing and or stupid shit all the time. You should. You deserve that. And you say you work hard, and I believe that you do. You should get the respect that you deserve. So start telling your mate, start respecting me. If you can't, you can hit the bricks. Because you need to find you somebody that's going to respect you for you. You're an independent woman, and you sound like you are. You sound like you got some shit going on. You got a child. You have to put your child first. And I tell that to my sister, anybody. I'm not perfect. I do some shit. But at the same time, it's a way of going through things. I'm not going to fuss with my girl, my wife, if she come home from work. And I know I got something to fuss with her about. I didn't found something. I'm just saying, I didn't found something. Hypothetically speaking, I didn't found something that she did or she said. And I thought about it and it's, it didn't sound right. I'm not going to, I'm going to wait until tomorrow. I'm not going to fuss with her about the shit knowing she just got off work. That's just me. I know how that shit feel. So I will wait. Most people want the shit to be out right then and there. They be sitting at home. I got her. I got him. Wait till this motherfucker get home. And they can't wait till you get in that door. You you not even get your shoes take off yet. Your clothes. They going at it. So why you didn't why no man. It's 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 crazy. But I appreciate you texting it. Let's go to uh another one. This is from Instagram. This one is Don. Don said, in my everyday life, I see a lot of females be rude to me. I just push it off to the shoulder because a lot of my sisters are rude. I mean, it, it comes with the territory of growing up with a bunch of girls. I have been, I have been in, in the family. Majority of my family are females. And a lot of my family, a lot of my family are bougie. A lot of girls in my family are bougie. And really disrespectful. A lot of my females in my family have men taking care of them. So they feel like they don't have to do much. Or they feel like they don't have to bring much to the table. Um, I feel like a man is supposed to be able to come home and relax. And not have to hear all that fussing and shit. Just like the other day I went to I went to the mall to try to return a gang for my son. He didn't want the game. It was not open. It was not, no, nothing. Nothing was open on it. The lady gave me damn near the third degree over trying to give me a different game. Both of the games were the same price. He just wanted the other one. Um, I, I, I had to wait for the manager. Of course, it was busy. I had to, of course, of course, it was busy. I had to wait for the manager. The manager took about 20 minutes to come see what I was, what I wanted. And I still had to wait till they found the game. Then they gave me a ring check because the game that he wanted was not in the store. So I walked out. I wind up spending 35 minutes to an hour inside the store. 35 to 45 minutes inside the store and I didn't even get the game. All the lady had to do was say, sir, we out of the game. Come back tomorrow. Instead, she made me stay up there for damn near 45 minutes arguing with her and the manager. And it was a black female. Now, she said, I went the next, he said, I went the next day. A lot of, a lot of, and when I say this part, I'm a put, I'm a screenshot this guy. I'm a screenshot this guy. Text. And I'm going to put it on my page so y'all think I'm not lying. Because a lot of my female viewers think that I be lying about shit. This guy, and a lot of y'all get mad. This guy said he went the next day to a 
different GameStop. Not the same GameStop. So a different GameStop. And walked in there. And it was a white lady there. A white middle-aged lady. Uh, whatever. He said it looked like she was in her 30s to mid for mid early 30s to mid 40s. He said he had asked her could he get the game. He he asked her, he said he explained to her what happened. The game wasn't a game that he wanted. His son wanted. He got home. He wanted a different game. And she said, no problem. Let me see if we have any in stock. She went to the back. About four minutes later, she came out with the game. Looked at his receipt. Made sure it was the right thing. The right game that he wanted. Told the guy, have a nice day. The guy walked out of there. He was still in about five, ten minutes. He said, why do we get he said, he said, listen, doctor, can you ask people, why do we get the third degree from our own folks? But when we go to white folks, they don't give us the third degree. And I've been wanting to ask that shit for the longest. Why do we, we from our own folks, from our own color, we get the third degree? If we go to somebody white, they just, okay. But we always want to say white people do it too. White girls do this. And, and they, they love saying that. They love saying that shit. And, and they might do. They might. They, white girls are not perfect. They're not from far. They're not perfect. I would never say a white girl is perfect. But she's doing her job. She's happy doing her job. For one, because she's happy doing her job. A lot of black girls who have jobs not happy doing the job. They feel like they're stuck. So they come there with attitudes because they left the house with attitudes, so they bring them to work. Thank you for calling and dying. Thank you for texting and dying. Let's go to, I got two, two, time for two more. And I'm going to tell you how I feel about this topic. And I'll ask you guys and you can leave it. You can talk to me tonight on it. Let's go to two more. Uh, this one's coming from Facebook. Her name is. I don't know how to pronounce it. Let me see if I let me see if I can pronounce it. Michelle, Co Co Colin, Co Colin, Colin, Collins, Collins. I'm sorry, Michelle Collins. Michelle Collins says, "I am a black female." She said, "A lot of the reason. A lot of the reason." Black females have attitude is a lack of dick, a lack of respect from they mate, a lack of love for themselves. She said, "You cannot feel, you cannot ask somebody." She said, "You cannot ask somebody who don't love who she is, or love who she he is, to respect you. You cannot ask somebody who don't have respect in their own home." to respect a customer she said i work at team mobile and i have people coming all the time with different stories about how their phone was cracked and we tell them the same thing it's our policy we cannot give you a cracked a phone if you crack it if you don't have contract or i mean if you don't have the uh the plane on it so the protection plane if you don't have the protection plane they try to say all kind of reasons look i need the phone because of this and I have to tell them all the time, it's our policy. Sometimes I have to get out of the way. My life is not pertaining around if you crack your phone or not. I'm a single mom working two jobs, having to put my kid through school, having to pay for my kid's stuff. I don't have time for men, so that's stress because I'm not getting any. I'm not getting any. It's stressful because I come home to my child. He didn't been act up all day at school and I have to deal with him. So, yes, sometimes I do go to work with a chip on my shoulder. Who doesn't? We all fuck up in life and people need to stop acting like nobody doesn't. All I want to ask you is this, doctor, because I like your content and like what you're doing. But can you please shine the light on more of men more? Because a lot of these men are the problem. That we that we go or the, makes the problem that we go through, and y'all just have to deal with the problem that we have. And you, it's not right for us to bring out that past relationships into our new relationships. 
when I, just like I was with a guy and I told the guy that I had a child and it was for a different guy and the guy was locked up. The guy asked me, is that going to be a problem for me being in your child's life? He said, no. I told him, no. My son, I don't let my son come around me until I know it's going to be really serious. Until, until it be serious. She said, he said, that wouldn't work for me because I would like to be in your son's life. She felt like at that moment she could not do it, so she said she backed out of the relationship. Four months later, the guy wound up doing some foul shit to a friend of hers, and she 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 felt like she she passed the bloat because it could have been her. She says that a lot of these guys are the problem, and we just need to shine the light on these guys too. And I appreciate you on that. And you're right, a lot of these guys are the problem. Because it's a lack of maturity, a lack of responsibility. If a guy don't have, it's, and it's, it goes both ways. If a guy doesn't have his father in his life, he's not going to grow up thinking that he's, he's not going to grow up being a, a strong man. He's not going to know how to be a man. And if a woman doesn't have a man in her life, her father in her life, she's not going to grow up thinking that she's beautiful. And it goes both ways. And this is my end to the show because we got three minutes left, three minutes left. This is my intro show. The only thing we can do as people is try to be respectable to the best of your knowledge or to the best of your understanding. Love one another and treat each other with respect. We can't get around, wrap our around, oh, this person did this and this person did this in our life. Because we all have been, did something to somebody or somebody else have did something to us. We're not perfect. We're not perfect. One person was perfect. He was alone. He created the world. And like a friend told me, my brother told me, even God rested. God, it took God six days to build this world. And on the seventh day, he rested. God is powerful. So if God had to rest, what that mean you have to do? Start resting. Start taking naps. Start taking um, start li living your life not afraid of things. Start living your life not afraid of making mistakes. Because we all make mistakes. You're going to make mistakes. You are. You're not God. You're going to make mistakes. Even God rested. Give yourself some reason. Two minutes left. Two minutes left. When you feel like you're about to be stressed about something, read your Bible. Sit there and read a book. Listen to some calm music. Relax your mind. Then you can go back into your everyday life. And with everybody who liked my show, who joined in in the conversation, I appreciate you guys. I'm going to give a hand to you guys because you are the ones that's making this show a, a hit. I appreciate everybody. I appreciate all my subscribers, my wife, my mom, and my sister, my friend, another guy I don't know, Tina. I appreciate you guys for subscribing to my channel, the people who's liking my page. Please, please, please tell your family, tell your friends about it. This is Listen Doctor Radio. Have a nice day, and I will continue this topic and other topics tonight on our hour show tonight. I'm going to do it tonight. I'm not going to do that to you guys. I'm going to do one because you guys wanted to come on last night. I'm going to give you all a show, a live show. Um... I'm going to be tired, but I got to do it because you guys want it. You guys ask for it. I'm going to be off for the next two days. I'm not going to do a video. I'm not going to do anything for the next two days just to get my head right and uh, have some quality time with my wife. So I'm going to give you all an hour show tonight. Um, and uh, let, let me know what you want to talk about. Let me know what you feel like we should key on tonight. I'm going to put that up there tonight. Uh, put that up there today. Let me know what you want to key on, what key topic you want to key on. Either it could be anything you want to talk about. It's going to be our show. I'm, everybody can call in. Everybody can text in. I have room tonight for at least 15 people to be in the room. At least 15. So tune in, man. Tune in. Check me out. This is Listen Doctor Radio slash TV. And my new page will be up there pretty soon. My new uh, channel. It's going to be called Listen Doctor TV. And check me out, man. It's going to be some nice things coming up there. I'm going to make another one after that one. 
So hey, holla at me, check me out. Once I get my computer out the shop, my other computer out the shop and get it, or buy me a new computer, or fix the one that I have, I'm be able to do better things with this processing that I'm doing. And if you like the way I do my intro, if you like the way you see the intro come on with the things, or you like different things that come on there, let me know how you feel about that. Go to the right, go to the left, click, click, click thumbs up, and tell everybody. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. Alright, this is Listen Doctor Radio.